Hello everyone. It says I am live. Hopefully y'all can see me. Hopefully you can hear me. I agree with Jennifer. Good morning writers or evening or afternoon if that's what it is for you guys are. Um, hey Daria. Daria's here. Emma says lunch is what I'm working on. Actually, also, I'm not actually a writer. I'm an illustrator, but I love Keisha. Oh, I thought I could join in and do drawings. With. That's awesome. Yes, this is just general work sprints. If we want to do it like that, that sounds great. Oh my gosh, RJ, 5.30 where you are. My goodness. Um, so this is a good time to mention also for Ellie, if it's your first time on a live stream, I did not click the right question. There we go. First live for Ellie. <laughs> this one's actually going to be a little bit different because I am taking a page out of my good friend Emily's book and we're going to be doing Pomodoro live sprints. And so for those of y'all who don't know what the Pomodoros are, we are doing 25 minutes of sprint work focus and then a five minute break. So... It's going to be intense. We're going to do four of those. So there's not going to be as much chatting this time. I mean, uh, some of us might be in the comments sometimes because our attention span is a little bit less, calling myself out. But 25 minutes of work is the goal. Five minutes of chatting. And having said that, when I see the thing hit five minutes, I'm going to put our 25 minutes up, but I'll put the five minutes on the timer so we can all see how much chat time we get to. No, thanks, MacDeal. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> the nerdy nanny says, I seriously need to put a bell on these. I keep forgetting they're on and then they scare the crap out of me. I have done that so many times. I'll have random live streams up in the background just kind of waiting for them to go live. And then all of a sudden someone's talking and I'm like, no. I even had this moment uh, yesterday when I was in um, the shower. I thought I felt someone's hand touch my shoulder. And so I whipped around terrified and uh, it was my own hair. My own hair was on my shoulder in a weird way and it got a little caught and the way it dragged felt like a hand like pulling me back. Anyways, so that's good. <laughs> Bandy says, I'm so glad you're doing these after Nano. You're my writing fairy godmother. Oh my gosh. What a great title. I'm happy to be everyone's writing fairy godmothers. That is great. 4.30 a.m. for Mia. Oh my goodness. I don't know how you'll do it. That's one of those that like um, Brooke sometimes does her early morning writing sprints. And that's 5 a.m. her time, which is also 5 a.m. my time. And I have had such a tough, like I've tried to get up for those. And I just... Nope, nope. My it is out to get me. It betrayed me. It was so rude. And Tex says, Paula says hi, hello. <laughs> Ooh, Victoria's gonna be brainstorming a new story today. I am actually, I should probably pull up what I'm working on, Shen and I. Um, I am going to be continuing working on a murder mystery Tennessee, uh, which I haven't finished still. I am actually working on putting some new scenes into the story after realizing that um, a fake lead, a um, like suspect number two kind of thing was missing. And so I've been doing that. I've been working on adjusting the timeline. Um, so the plus side is I have scenes now to work with and include when I didn't before. The downside is more work doing that means it'll probably take a little bit longer than to get it to my alpha readers. I'm still really hoping for the May 1st deadline, but like, how much am I hoping? How realistic am I trying to be? <clears throat> I don't know. All right, let's see. Oh, it pulled up on this screen. So <laughs> drag and drop my timeline here. Hopefully you guys are getting ready because we're about to put the 25 minutes on the timer. Okay, there we go. Let's see. 
Ooh, Max is working on a new crime prevention method paper today. That sounds fascinating. All right, y'all, we are getting ready. I'm going to share my screen. There is no time to wait. I saw someone ask for that. We don't have the time, unfortunately. The Pomodoros wait for no one. All right. Hopefully y'all are ready, because we're about to start. On your mark, get set, right. Pomodoro, I don't know, one of those. Go. <laughs>
Ooh. Time. Okay, y'all. Hopefully you did well. We're going to discuss this in a second. Oop, not 50. But the one thing we're going to do is we're going to switch uh, to the five-minute Pomodoro break. So I'm going to start the timer, and that is how long we have to talk before we got to get back to it. So, oh, wow, look at y'all are already doing so good. 714, 1,051, 823, dang, I don't know how I did. Also, let me know if y'all are drinking anything. As always, I have some coffee. I did actually manage to get up just early enough to make my cappuccino and then get here. <laughs> As y'all can tell, my eyes were not yet feeling the contact, so. Hey, look, Quiet Adventure got 80 in a new blog post. That's awesome. I'm going to switch to some freelance stuff after this. 489 for Lisa in Love's Books. Ivy's got 790. Oh, Drew outlined the history. That is very cool. Adventures in Video says 270. Not bad, considering I don't know what I'm doing with this scene. I totally know what you mean about that. That's usually how I feel um, part of the way through NaNoWriMo, uh, like halfway through when I've exhausted most of the beginning. And then I'm just like, honestly, at this point, any words I get are plus. <laughs> exactly 123 for Nara Mouse. I always love the one, two, three, four kind of thing. <gasps> Katarina, 652, and finally at 78,000, way to go. That's what Abigail did, character profiles. Okay, so I have been rereading um, some manga. I say rereading. It's um, manga that I had never read, but I owned the first volumes of. And so I think it's so interesting how manga tends to have actual character profiles just in the book, usually at the end, but sometimes randomly throughout. And I just think that's so fun that that sort of story we love and want all the character profiles or the author's notes and stuff like that whereas you don't get to see that much other places so I just found it I find it so interesting yeah yeah <laughs> um let's see Maddie says I'm plotting and it's really hard because I'm only 11 but I'm working on three books any tips oh my gosh Maddie you're already crushing it you're already doing a lot more than most other people um I have no advice for plotting, but um, I say if you get a story block in one book, you go ahead and switch to the other. Just kind of alternate how you're feeling. It's fine. There's no set rules to this thing. One, two, we're doing a five minute Pomodoro break. So that's what the countdown's for. It's to keep us on track. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Everyone's so proud of Maddie. Way to go, Maddie. Stay motivated. Um, okay. I actually never did check how many words I got. Which, where did I even start at? Usually I change the um, font color. That way I find it more easy to um, figure out where I was during sprints. Okay. I got it. 578. I'm real happy with that. That's awesome. That's what my goal each day at this point for Murder Mystery Tennessee is anywhere from 500 to 1,000 words, just because um, so much of the work that I'm also doing is plotting and outlining work. So if I do both plotting and outlining and manage to get 500 words, I'm really happy with that progress. So thanks to that first sprint, I already got that part covered. Uh, so I'm actually going to X out of this project and open up the freelance project. That way I can get that done too. And I was shockingly productive despite the amazing conversation happening in the comments. <laughs> As always, Charlotte Armstrong is truly leading a uh, contingency of people to not write. <laughs> I love you, Charlotte. You're great. Um, I also really liked the question about where the arrow should go so that you could kill a character immediately. So I just think that's so cool. I love contemplating that kind of thing. Let's see. 
There we go. Okay, Ellie Weiss's. I'm so sorry, I do not think I pronounced that right. Says, I'm not writing a book since my life is too busy right now, but I'm using this time to be productive for research I gotta do. That's great, yeah. I always love, you know, we can just do whatever sort of work we want. Also, I got very nervous about this timer. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, ah, panic. Okay, we are switching over. These Pomodoro sessions wait for no one. It is 25 minutes now, not two hours and 50 minutes. Jeez, that would be too much even for, oh, especially for me. <laughs> okay, 5.39 for Patrice. All right, on your mark. Jeez, get set, go. <laughs>
All right, that is time on that sprint, y'all. Holy crap. Okay, just like last time, we're gonna set up the five minute chatting countdown. Holy heck, let me find banner five minute Pomodoro break, y'all. And then we will get that started. Okay, five minutes. I love seeing everyone who's writing in different genres or trying out different genres this year. That is so awesome. Let's see. I saw some comments. I don't know if I can find them now. It keeps hopping. <laughs> Oh, look, okay. So Katarina is working on a cozy murder mystery, YA high fantasy and romanticy, romance and fantasy. I love the idea of a romanticy. I don't think I've ever heard of that before specifically, but how great, that sounds wonderful. Daydreaming author is currently at fantasy and romance. That's so cool. Let's see. I almost finished um, the essay I was working on, almost. This is one of those where I like to give it a break sometimes and then come back to it later and make sure that I like the changes I made. So we shall see. Alvin says, and once again, revision re turns to rewriting. Had to just redo the whole scene. Main character decided to start talking like his dialogue was written by someone who doesn't know how to write dialogue. Gosh, why did the main character decide to do that? <laughs> I totally feel you on that, Alvin. Oh, let's see. It jumped, but look at that. Megan, speculative fic and YA lesbian romance. How awesome. Rainy Hammer, fantasy, supernatural murder mystery, superhero, steampunk, and spy thriller. Holy crap. Or some of the genres I'm... Some? Rainy Hammer, how many genres are you writing in? That's awesome. Kelly is 10 and writing an adventure book. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And how did you guys do that sprint? That's probably a good follow-up question. Emma got 250 words and two equations. Physics, bachelor's, project. Wonderful. <laughs> Lorelai has a high fantasy, a modern fan fantasy, and a contemporary girl gang type thing. <gasps> I mean, I also like high fantasy and modern fantasy, but like you have me sold truly on contemporary girl gang. I think that sounds great. Did I see Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte. I got zero. Surprise, surprise. Charlotte, I think you should start counting up how many words you get in the chat. Like at this point, I think those should count too. <laughs> 200. I love your username. Get mad with Cad the Lab. That's amazing. Regina. Hey, Regina. I spent this sprint fixing some formatting issues. Just an excuse to think about how to solve a problem. I have noticed that I have um, started cleaning when I'm like in the middle of trying to figure something out, but I don't have the answer yet. I'll just get up and like just or wipe something down. Like that's that's now how I default to things. <gasps> Ooh, Mia, I'm doing Vampire Simon Snow meets Colin Creevy. How interesting. Azura says, I feel so plain since I only write fantasy. No, no, that's part of the fun. Everyone working on different things or like it's not just fantasy, you know, cause your world is gonna be so rich and awesome. Oh, Eliza, I'm writing a soap opera in book form. If you like One Tree Hill or 90210 or general hospital shows like that, it's kind of an adult book. Not being, that sounds so cool. That sounds awesome. I would also love to see more types of things in book format, um, just like soap operas in book format. I think that sounds so cool. Let's see. Martina? Working on dystopian fantasy. That's awesome. Amanda with the pirate romance. You know I'm all about the pirates. Oh, Magdiel says, I need help. I'm procrastinating in my story. Oh, man, Magdiel. I wish I had an answer for you. I don't know how many stories. This is the hard part about writing in multiple different stories at once. 
is knowing when I'm procrastinating a certain story. Because it's so easy to be like, well, I'm feeling inspired for X and Y, but not Z right now. So I should probably work on X and Y while I'm at it. Uh, and then what really is happening is that I'm just procrastinating on Z. So I wish I had some advice. Mia is feeling the pain too. Yes, to pirate romance, everyone's so excited. Ruby says, honestly, I was just sat there thinking, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I worked out what to do. That's awesome. Oh, and that is time. Holy crap. Okay, how does Emily do this all the time? Okay, 25 minutes. Guys, we are right back to working. That's it. Oh my gosh. Okay, 25 minutes. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's see. Okay, on your mark, get set. Sprint. Oh.
Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy crap, y'all. We're going into the next one. <laughs> Five minute break. Let me get that set up. Again, why do I keep trying to tell y'all that it's 50 minutes? It's not 50 minute break. <laughs> I could probably use a 50 minute break after we do this. Like I'm gonna need something. I finished my coffee. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I guess I could get more coffee. Let's see. Sapphic Solis got 1,014 words. Way to go. MacDL finished their novel. What? Yay. Oh, I didn't start the timer. That's important. No. Okay. <laughs> 273. Romy got 513. Way to go. 297 from Tammy. I think the answer is to make another one. That might be it. Does that defeat the purpose of the 25 minute Pomodoro if for five minutes I'm making a cappuccino? Uh, we'll put it up to a quick poll. Just say yes or no. <laughs> Breck managed to write three emails. You know what? I've honestly resorted to doing Pomodoros for a lot of the businessy stuff that I don't like doing. It's so much easier to motivate myself to be like, get as much of this done as you can in the 25 minutes. And then I can move on until like the next day. So I completely feel you on that one. The Luke Skywalker 2 read two chapters. That's awesome. Always a yes for coffee. Thank you. Alice, thank you. All right. Everyone say get the coffee. This is why you guys are the best. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. 591 for Griffin, whose thing I meant to click on, but I missed. Maddie's got 3,200. Holy crap. Way to go, Maddie. Let's see. 107 words and a single equation. The rest of the time was spent researching. That's awesome. And Emma's also saying go for it. Thank you. Coffee. Yes. Uh, if Sean asks, so many writers, will people even read all of our hard work? That's an interesting question. I think for a lot of us, we need to write for ourselves first. Obviously, a lot of us want to share our work so that we can, you know, be read and have people like meet our characters that we love so much. But I know even if no one ever read my work, I would still write just because I like it so much and it's good for me and it's fun. So, but I do wonder and like, this is the terrible what if kind of scenario. Like what if no one ever read anything I wrote kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys also ask your questions, like yourself, those questions, but yeah. Um, Esma says, revising my proposal. I hate my research self less since I've started the Pomodoro. That's progress. Absolutely. Definitely progress. That's what, and Brecky, oops, I meant to click on something. I missed it. But there you go. Rami says, for the last 14 years, I've been writing for myself. Exactly. Same. Except for my fan fiction days and some of the freelance stuff, like, it's all just kind of for me at this point. <laughs> we haven't managed to make that next step yet. Also, my favorites are being chaotic as usual. <laughs> Y'all are great. Heather says, as an artist, I just work for myself first. If others like it too, then it's a win. Yeah, that's how I feel like... I think that's the healthiest mindset to have. I also understand sometimes when we spiral and we're like, what is it all worth? Like, why do we do this? Especially when our characters or like the blank canvas is being especially daunting. But I totally agree with Heather. Sean, 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 Shan, Shan, Shan says, I feel like alpha readers, beta readers can sometimes just be enough interactive feedback. Yeah, for sure. Oh, this skipped again, but Brecky says you have to enjoy what you're writing. Otherwise, why do it? I totally agree. There we go. Talia says hit 42,000 and gearing up for the climax. That is awesome. Um, Let's see. Zeno asks, does anyone have any tips for stream of consciousness writing? I don't know that I do it that often. I wonder if this is one of those where it's like the opposite of the floor is lava. It's like, don't you dare take your hands off the keyboard and just keep typing. I feel like that would be how you'd have to play that game. It sounds interesting. 
Oh my gosh, almost done with this short story. Congratulations, you're so close, that's awesome. Oh yay, I'm so glad. I'm always nervous about name pronunciation. <laughs> Rainy hit their word count early, so start brainstorming blog posts, yay. Oh, the novel Nana says, grandbaby break and refill of coffee. Yay, oh, that's so cute. Let's see. Um, okay, M says, I feel like I've lost that mindset since setting my sights on publishing a book. Slow progress, but still progress. And it's a bit harder to rewrite my novel because it isn't as fun as it used to be. There is absolutely something to be said for changing, for the mindset change. That's why I feel like you have to have your writer brain like the brain for yourself in the stories and then like this business brain. Oh no, oh no, panic. <laughs> Just gonna panic every time. But I totally get you, Ems. I think that is something that if I focus on it too much, I can also um, get sucked into. All right, 25 minutes. Y'all, this is the last Pomodoro of the write-in. Hopefully we will make it as productive as possible. Madison, yes. Coffee time, same for me. Okay, hope you guys are ready. On your marks, get set, write, or get coffee. <laughs>
Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, I can finally shop. Wow, stop sharing the screen. We finished, you guys. That was it. That was two hours of Pomodoros. And an hour and 40 minutes of like focused work or based off of the way the chat moved, semi-focused work. <laughs> Let me know how you guys did, what you got done through this entire uh, spread. Let me know if this is the kind of thing y'all would like to do in the future. I always really love when Emily does it. So if you want to see someone else who does this more often, the Pomodoro sprints, I do have Emily linked in the description. Um, but yeah, this was good. I got a shocking amount done. It's not even 9am where I'm at yet. I feel so productive. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I like I don't read very semi-focused. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shan Curdy finished a chapter and a short story. Crushed it. Sapphic wrote 4,000 words throughout the sprint. Holy crap. 487 for Anna. Could only join for the last one, but I like these longer sprints. That's good to know. I don't know why the 25 minute, to be fair, I was doing some other work too, but Usually I think 25 minutes is too long and yet something about the Pomodoros, I think it's just my expectations regarding things sometimes. So the Pomodoro, I go into this expecting to be focused for 25 minutes and it works. So I don't know, this is one of those like uh, personal kind of weird things. Oh yes, Playvon, thank you for joining, but we are unfortunately about to sign off. Uh, Next time, though. <laughs> Janicky did most of the next chapter, which is exactly what they needed. That's awesome. Georgia also finished a chapter. 9,000 words in three days. Holy crap, Georgia. That's incredible. 527 for the whole stream. That's still awesome. Way to go, Emily. 3,769 words for today for Mandel. What? Oh, my gosh. That's insane. SD does 20 minute writing spreads with five minute breaks during her own live streams. Doing the 25 minute for admin stuff works though. There you go. 473 for Hana. Close to 23,000. So close to the end of the chapter. 1,370 words for the session. You gave me all the stats and I loved it. I love, give me all of them. <laughs> yes, I know. Everyone crushed it. It's incredible. Actually made Ruby so productive. Yay! 427 for Alley Cat. Good question, Kelly. I don't know when my next stream will be yet. I want to do um, one more at least this month, probably, but to be determined on the time, I might actually switch it to like an evening or midday so maybe some other people can join. But I did really like doing this early morning one, so we'll see. All right, and if you want to go for another one, Sage has a productivity stream going live in about an hour and a half. So one of these days, I just want to hop from stream to stream. That's kind of my goal. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I had such a good time doing this. I feel so great about the start to the day. So yeah, thanks, y'all. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.